Hi, do you want to relive the dream of benzene discovery? Then let's go back to somewhere around 1850s and meet the most prominent scientist of that era. Yes, he was Frederick August Kekulé, a German organic chemist. He is known for the most significant contribution to the science in that time. But guess what? He was initially admitted to study architecture at University of Gießen. Just imagine if he would have continued with the architecture. What a great loss to the scientific fraternity. But thank God to Justice von Liebig. After listening to his lectures, Kekule decided to study chemistry. And then he came up with the idea of atomic valence. He put forth how carbon is tetravalent. And he is known for his two most significant contributions. One is how carbon links with another carbon atoms to form longer chains. And this was revealed in one of the dream which he saw when he was riding on a horse driven omnibus in the London. What he saw was different atoms dancing, playing with each other, holding each other's hands and this is how he proposed carbons might link with each other to form the longer chains. He was a daydreamer and his dreams led to significant contribution to organic chemistry. But he is more famous about his discovery of the structure of benzene. Molecular formula of benzene C6H6 was known from long time, but its structure was not known. At that time, there were many straight chain compounds known. So everybody tried to derive structure of the benzene imparting unsaturation in the straight chain compounds. If you look at hexane, it is C6H12. And if you try to accommodate double bonds, still we have eight hydrogens. If you try to incorporate triple bonds, then still we are left with only four hydrogens. Kekule was so much passionate about his research that he only confirmed in his speeches. He discovered structure of the benzene in another dream. It was a holy day when he was sitting in front of the fire and thinking about how benzene's structure can be proposed, how one can draw a structure containing six number of carbons and only six number of hydrogens. He was thinking, thinking and thinking and then he fall asleep. So during his dream, again, he saw carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms dancing, coming over each other and suddenly what? These atoms turned into snakes and he saw those snakes started dancing and jumping. After some times, these snakes even started swirling around each other and guess what? Suddenly, one of the snake started seizing its own tail and this rounding of the snake clipped something to the Kekule and then he proposed that structure of benzene can be cyclic. And soon it was, he published the paper on it and then there were a lot of uh, coverage into the newspapers, magazines and funny memes were created. One of them even involves monkeys which are trying to pull each other's legs. But everybody was fascinated about this structure of benzene which is revealed by a snake biting his own tail. In the words of Kekule, he said, Atoms were gambling before my eyes 
twisting and twinning in a snake like motion but look one of the snakes has seized its own tail he himself confirmed that he discovered it through a dream but soon he proposed structure of the benzene when he has drawn it on to the paper he observed there are six carbon atoms which are connected with alternate single and double bonds and every carbon atom has one hydrogen atom he also proposed that structures can be written in the form where lines can represent bonds and the intersection of these points will represent carbon we need not to write hydrogen it is assumed that each carbon is having sufficient hydrogens to maintain the valence and valency of the carbon is 4 so because every carbon is involved with three other bonds there is only one possibility left that each carbon must be having one one hydrogen so in fact it was nothing but 135 cyclohexa trine remember trine is not a triple bond but a trine means three double bonds soon this structure was proposed again it was opposed by few other scientists if kekule's structure was correct that a benzene contains alternate double and single bonds if you look at dibromobenzene then we should have two isomers one isomer should have two bromine atoms attached to carbons which are having a double bond in between another isomer should have bromine atoms attached to a carbon which are connected by only a single bond but when a dibromobenzene was practically synthesized it was only one molecule so kekule has to modify his structure and during modification of this structure another important phenomena was revealed and that forms the basis of the modern organic chemistry effect of different functional groups onto the benzene kekule proposed that benzene is in fact having two resonating forms wherein double bonds change their positions in a manner such that all the pi electrons are spread all over the benzene and this is how the two resonating structures wherein there is a delocalization of the pi electrons to the neighboring single bonds can lead to two equivalent structures which are interconvertible to each other and delocalization can also be shown as a dotted bond all over the ring which later on became official to write it as a circle so a hexagon with a circle inside means benzene this was again proven with the bond lengths where a carbon carbon single bond length in alkenes was 154 picometer or 1.54 angstrom while a double bond length into alkenes was 134 picometer or 1.34 angstroms in the benzene the length between the bond of carbon carbon was 139 which was exactly in between this so these carbons were surely having the character in between single bond and double bond so all the carbons were connected with a bond length of 139 picometer or 1.39 or 1.40 angstroms because it's a hexagon all the bond angles internal bond angles between the carbons external bond angles between hydrogen carbon and neighboring carbon they all are 120 degrees so benzene's structure is planar in nature all the carbons hydrogens they lie in one plane if you look at orbital structure of benzene 
every carbon is sp2 hybridized and hydrogens we know they are having spherical s orbital so when carbon forms a bond with hydrogen there is overlap between sp2 and s orbital whereas when carbon links with another carbon there is overlapping between sp2 and sp2 orbitals this is how sigma bonds are formed in the benzene to account for delocalization of the pi electrons every carbon has one p orbital having one electron p orbitals are of dumbbell shaped and they are perpendicular to the plane in which carbon and hydrogens are lying half of the orbital is above the plane half of the orbital is below the plane and because there is overlapping of these orbitals pi electrons keep on delocalizing there occurs construction of one pi molecular orbital half of this molecular orbital is above the plane half of this is below the plane so this was about the benzene as in the first session we mentioned in 2019 it was celebrated as international periodic table year since then iupac has started one periodic table challenge if you go to the home page of iupac or i have given a link in the description if you click on that link you will be directed to the page of iupac periodic table challenge wherein you can see you can participate into the challenge at beginner level intermediate level and advanced level initially you need to pick up the difficulty level then give some basic information about you as your email id name of the institution and then you need to pick up one element of your choice you can select hydrogen carbon oxygen as they are more common into the drugs or any other element of your choice once you select the element then you need to answer few questions about that element so you can learn a lot about this this is the most authentic information as it is given by the iupac and you will be given the points and you can enter into that leaderboard many students across the globe are participating in this challenge so do not forget to get your contribution all the images in this presentation are taken from these websites thank you for listening if you have any queries please place it into the comment box thank you